In this lecture, we'll take a look at how we can load JavaScript from view files. Like, I've created a .cshtml file, and from there, I want to call a script when I'm making use of the layout. So over here, you can see inside my views directory, I've got this shared, and I have this layout .cshtml file, which is being used when I'm rendering any view. So this has got all the scripts. But let's say you still want to include a JavaScript block in your view files. For instance, over here in this directory, inside home directory, you can see training.cshtml. Now if I open up this file, at the end you can see I'm making use of a script block. Now this script block that I'm making use of will only appear at the end of the page when I'm going to make use of section scripts. So if I just try to go ahead and remove this whole thing from here, like this, and then I try to compile this and execute it, the script block will be right after the content of this page and it will not be executed because the dependent libraries have not been loaded yet. To resolve those things, we have to put it inside the section scripts block. Apart from this, we also need to ensure that we have in our layout file. In our layout file, we must have this block set so render section scripts required false. Now, you do this in your layout file and then any views that you will be creating, you can include your scripts easily using the section scripts block and then the script block inside it. Okay? So that way you can easily have your scripts in your views when you are making use of the layout.